What have you learned about yourself as a filmmaker, producer, and actor thus far? As a filmmaker, I begin to understand that far different from preaching, uh, films cannot be so medicinal that they're not entertaining. Uh, when you minister a message, the message is the primary goal. But if you do that in film, it, it comes across as over preaching. The message has to be far more subtle and take a backseat to the fact that people don't get off work on Friday and get a bag of popcorn and a date and go out to be fussed at or preached at. They want to have a good time. They want to laugh. They want to have a great evening. But just because something is humorous doesn't mean that it has to be void of a point or a theme or an idea. So for me, it is to find that integration of message and methodology in such a way that people have a great time, but they walk away and drive home and say, is that how you feel about me? It spawns the conversation or, you know, that touched me in a special spot. Provokes a communication between people who often find it difficult to talk to each other. Has this new knowledge informed other areas, such as the message you preach or how you reach prospective audiences? I think the biggest change for me has been watching other films. I see them totally differently now. I know how they're being shot. I know how the cameras are set. I, I notice the lighting. I notice how the story is told in a way that I never did before. I had certain naiveties that are gone. Uh, a great part of, of being a part of the film process is sitting in the audience and watching the audience react to the film after you've done it. What's amazing is some, sometimes the thing you thought they were really going to laugh at, they missed. And the thing you never thought they were going to laugh at, they were broke up about. And, and it's a learning process. So you bring all of that information to the next film. Every experience makes you a little bit richer and a little bit more fuller than you were before. And being a minister, traveling around the world, uh, interacting with uh, everybody from presidents to paupers, gives you a wide array of thoughts and ideas to bring back to film and say, oh, let's try this idea, let's take that part out, change it around a little bit. It's, it's fun, it's fun for me. With four films left in your first look deal with Sony, what would you like to tackle next? <laughs> well, uh, as I do have a first look deal with Sony, and I, I would really like to uh, break out the box. I'm, I've always been an edgy sort of person, so I think they can expect me to do something very edgy. Maybe we'll tackle a murder film. I mean, I, I want to get out there and do something that's different and that's got uh, espionage and who did it and, and, and mix it with, with the complexity of faith. See, people often think that when you talk about faith, it's always with stained glass windows and padded pews. But who needs more faith than somebody who's, who's praying that a runaway child would come home or a son has been abducted and we're trying to get him back or we're trying to solve a murder mystery and God, we need your help to get through this process. I mean, it, faith doesn't have to be compartmentalized in a stereotypical ideology with the choir clapping and somebody coming down the aisle. Many times we have locked our faith up in our churches and I believe it's screaming trying to get out and be a part of our day-to-day -day living. Your new film, Jumping the Broom, hits theaters Mother's Day weekend. When can we hear more about what promises to be a very funny film? Well, I think that, um, you know, advertisement will roll out in the first quarter of January and people will see that this is hilarious, that it's funny, uh, that we're not afraid to make fun of ourselves and that in the process they're going to have a great time. By Mother's Day weekend, I think every mother in America, young and old, is going to want to see this film and I think every son is going to want to take his mother or his wife or his girlfriend. Uh, it's not a chick flick, as it were. Uh, I think it has romantic elements in it, but it's also got comedic elements in it and moments where guys are playing football and engaging each other. I think it's a wide array of things because we are a wide uh, array of ideas as a people and to bring them all to film is going to be fun. I think it's going to be exciting and Mother's Day weekend should be filled with people who want to have a great evening.